So that's how YouTube speeds the instrument here. Got my uh, iPod dock uh, a little bit more angled. Um, I put on another Lego brick. That's a feature that I have kind of taken off and haven't really put back on, but yeah, yeah, now you should get a better view of me because usually you just like did this kind of view, which doesn't look very good. So, yeah, anyway. Um, yeah. Um, so, I guess I'm supposed to make an elbow block, right? Yeah. That's why I turned the camera on, I'm pretty sure. Well, elbow vlog turned out to be very horrific. Ugh, I can't believe it. Like, I'm not in it right now, but tomorrow I've got to go into the ER and i got to get on like a full body cast and everything. Uh, as it turns out, there's a, a break that wasn't, that wasn't in, immediately detectable. It was in my spinal cord. Um, and... Although I'm not really paralyzed yet, I will, uh, you know, it will eventually, if I don't get this full body cast on really soon, I could potentially get um, paralyzed from the legs down. Actually, not, actually not legs down. I don't know. I can't remember what he said, like, but yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, I'm not looking forward to it. So, oh well. <sighs> Good news is I'm a horrible, horrible liar, <laughs> and uh, that's actually not true, as you probably assumed. Um, yes, the, um, I just got back from the orthopedics, uh, orthopedist office, um, got to leave school early, and my mom's currently picking up my sister, so while she's doing that, I'm going to make a video, uh, this video, which is what I'm doing right now, um, yeah, let me tell you guys what happened, guess what, Yeah, yeah, yes, I do not have a, uh, a split on anymore. Yeah, I uh, apparently have, like, I've got, like, this, this rare type of bone um, that, that heals up really, really quickly. It's like, I, I literally could, like, take my, what's it called, my femur? Yeah, my femur. I could break my femur uh, intentionally and have it, you know, repair itself, like, in a week. Literally. No, not really. No, it's just, it actually wasn't a break. I think I mentioned this in the last one. It was actually a hairline fracture, um, so I kind of assumed I wouldn't need to have a cast on for very long or a splint. I did not have a cast. That's something that originally I did not know what the difference was between a splint and a cast. I thought that I just had a cast on, but no. A cast is actually something that's hard, like that you know goes all. That's it's like a hard material that surrounds your entire arm, or your, that just goes all around the injured part. It's actually not. It was actually a splint. So it was like it, this hard piece. Is it actually over here? No, I don't see it. It was like this hard piece that, you know, they soaked in water at first because it used to be very floppy. But when they soaked it in the water and then put it on me, um, it eventually conformed to my arm. It actually hardened. So it was like some sort of chemical reaction thing. But uh, yeah, what is it? I do. Okay. Yes. That's that. Um, but I got I get to take it off now, so I'm officially out of my splint. The fracture is still there; it's not healed, but according to the doctor, it is very stable. So I don't need the cast on. But I will say that my left arm, honestly, it feels like a mechanical arm. It feels so stiff. I mean, it's insane. It's I mean, like this here is about. Maybe I should take my sweater off so you can see better contrast here. Uh, this here, let me actually pop this one out so I can get a better view here. That is a little bit uncomfortable. That's about as far as I can go comfortably, but I mean, you know, I can tell it's there. It's just like, but this right here, yeah, that's about as far as I can comfortably go that way. And up this way, I don't really want to go any further than that. Of course, I can with this arm, but on this arm, it takes a little bit of encouragement. And I'm not going to force anything. But, yeah, it's a little weird. Um, it, it's kind of, yeah, it is stiff. The doctor did say that if, you know, the worst joint you have, you, the worst joint ever to uh, restrict, or not restrict, to restrain, you know, to keep frozen like that, I guess, um... There is a word for it. I don't know why I, think, I can't think of it. I guess it is restraining. Immobilize. That's what it is. Immobilize. Um, you do not want to immobilize the elbow for very long because after about a week or so, uh, like a little over a week after, you know, of, you know, immobilization, it starts getting stiff. So I can definitely attest to that. My arm, 
my elbow feels a little bit strange. But apparently, let me put this back together. Actually, let me see if I can put this one on. So maybe I can show you what they uh, want me to do. Uh, yeah, you're not going to oil it. There you go. You can see my keyboard. Hello, keyboard. There you go. What they want me to do, can you see that? Yeah. This here is one exercise. I've got my arm face up. They want me to do this. Just this. Alright, well, keeping my arm face up. There's a cup in the way. It's kind of bothering me. Keep knocking it. Yep. And there's also one. Let me see if I can. Uh, this. The pancake flip, apparently. I guess I can go this way too, but I don't know. Um, yeah, those right now are a little bit awkward because they're not very comfortable. Take this red brick off so that you can get a little bit better view of my face. But yeah, definitely, definitely better. I did get new x-rays today. Um, I do not have the x-rays with me. I don't think I'm going to get those, but I did get to see them, which is awesome. I thought that was so cool, and to see the inside of my arm, uh, what the bones look like. I've always wanted to see that, and I thought it was really awesome. Um, I personally could not see the breaks. I mean, he was pointing at stuff that, you know, honestly to me just looked like a bone. <laughs> I couldn't actually see. It, it did not look very pronounced to me at all. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's really, really strange to them because it's, they, there's this buildup of fluid that's just going on and it's making, it's obscuring the fracture, it's obscuring the damage, so they are, but he says that it is very, very stable and that the only time I need to wear my sling, I do not, he actually says don't wear the sling, the sling is done, but do wear it when I'm at school so that way people know not to bump into my arm, you know, which makes sense, you know, that you got, you don't want to bump into someone's sling too much. So I will have my sling on at school, which sucks. I hate wearing my sling at school. But oh well, it's for the better of it. Um, but he says after about a month, I will not need to do that anymore. And uh, he also said no bike riding for a month. And honestly, right now, yeah, uh, no way am I getting on my bike. A, it's not very rideable. And B, I really do not trust myself right now. I will definitely get back into bike riding. Guys, yeah, if, like, if something like this happens to you, don't let it scare you out of it. Especially if you're like younger. You know, while I, wouldn't while I wouldn't really recommend that a younger person go, you know, commuting on their bike, that's just, I don't think that's really smart. I would say you'd have to be, I don't know. If you're like a 13-year-old kid, you better be like really, really disciplined. Like self-disciplined and, you know, disciplined stuff. Um, like, you know, you better be pretty mature about it if you're like a 13-year-old kid. Because I've seen a 13-year-old kid commute it commute on a bike. That should be a lot of on iMac. Shout out to you. I don't know if you're watching this or not, but yeah, you had some pretty awesome bike uh, commuting videos with you and your dad back in the day, which you need to put back up, because I missed those. I want to see them again. Um, so yeah, but I would definitely say, you know, I am definitely like, I would say at least 16 years old. You know, it like, would be, like, in my opinion, the general age to, like, go vlogging comfortably on a bike. I don't know. But, yeah. But, like, if something like that happens to you, don't let it discourage you from doing it and from continuing it. Like, you know, if you're, if you're real into, like, I don't know, let's say gymnastics or something. And, you know, you're doing gymnastics and then suddenly you do something horribly wrong and you, like, fall and you injure yourself. You maybe break a leg or something. Don't let that, like, discourage you. I mean, if you don't already like gymnastics and then that happens then you know what, yeah, you can use that as an excuse to get out, because I'll tell you this, I did cross country in freshman year of high school, I hated it, I hate running, I was not signed up, I was not, no one told me that, that I was signed up for it, I told my mom, don't sign me up for cross country, she signed me up anyway, um, which was okay, but I just wasn't thrilled about it, and I could, I could not, I just could not make myself like it, I hate running, alright, running is just not my thing, but um, I did eventually get a cold, and so I had to, I was uh, absent for a while, and then I just kind of let myself get out of cross country. Just kind of use that as my excuse, because I wasn't already enjoying it. In my opinion, if you don't enjoy what you're doing, if you get, like, injured from it, or if you get sick and just can't do it, if the thing you don't like doing is not, like, a not, like is not a priority, like, you know, if it's, like, a you know, recreational or, um, what's it called? Post-academic or not post-academic? Um, I don't know. I'm lost for words right now, but you know what I mean, um, if it's just an optional thing, like, you know, basketball or something, like, after school basketball or something, uh, 
I, extracurricular, that's what it is. It was something extracurricular that, you, and you get sick or injured from it. In my opinion, you really, I'm, I just, I don't know, I don't see why you should stay in it, honestly. That's just me. Like, when I have, if, when I have kids, I'll let them choose what they want to do. I won't force them to be, like, a basketball player. Unless they're really into basketball, but, you know, that's just me. I personally think that kids should not be able to have a say in that kind of stuff, so. And if they don't want to, they don't have to. That's just me, though. Um, but anyway, yeah, I will definitely, definitely get back into bike riding. I'm just not going to for a little while. Um, yeah. Hopefully, though, um, I'll be able to get my bike fixed, and I won't need to get a new bike, because, well, as you all know, I'm trying to get a computer, and uh, that would definitely get in the way. <laughs> so, we'll see. We shall see. We shall see. Well, alright, this video is really, really long. Actually, it's not that bad. This is, I don't know. But, yep, that's my elbow vlog. I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit up my YouTube and uh, see what's going on over there. I don't know if uh, the Review Man 56 has, reviewed his pack has received his package yet. Let's actually check that real time. Of course, I want you to the screen so I can lay addresses. But I've got tracking enabled on it. And did it arrive? I, I, mean, I can't even remember his address off the top of my head, so I'll just have to. I know what the state is, but I'm not going to say it. Waiting for. Oh, yeah, it's there. Almost. Yep, it's delivered. Dude, you got it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, congrats. I hope you do your unboxing video. Just make sure that my address is invisible. Let's actually see if he posted it. Did I subscribe to you? I don't think I subscribed to you. Let's see. I'm, what am I doing? I'm typing with one hand. Look, I can type with two hands now. Whoops. No, stop. There's no spaces in the username. You made 56. Let's see if I'm even subscribed to you. Let's see, you've got Monster Hunter 3 unboxing. Oh, no, I'm not subscribed to you. What do you know? I'm subscribed now. You've got, I'm your fourth subscriber, man. That's awesome. So, yeah, let's see. Uh, if you sent me like a message or anything. I don't have any messages. But, uh, yeah. Definitely looking forward to that unboxing video, dude, if you can do it, if you have a camera. I mean, you know, we've only got one video up. I don't know if you have a camera or not. Um, if you can borrow a camera or something, you know, I'd love to see the video. Uh, the video. If not, if maybe you can make a video afterwards, you know. I just like to know, I don't know, it's just, that's why I do giveaways. Because it's fun to see, but it's fun to see it in someone else's hands. That's really the, the reward of doing it. You know, you, you pay and you ship and you, you know, you... And it's it's a little tedious. Pro it's not really tedious. It's pretty simple, but you know you do that. But then the reward is that like the person who wins it does an unboxing video, and it's like, wow, it's it's so cool to see it in someone else's hand. And even though this isn't something like my Zippo giveaway that I did, like where I, you know that one was actually really cool because I custom made it, and it was cool to see it in someone else's hand. It's still cool though, even though it's just a little flash drive. It's still pretty cool. But uh, anyway. I'm actually chewing on the idea of doing another giveaway that's not like a physical item, but um, I did mention that I like to do a logo design in the Flash Drive giveaway, but that did not happen, but I don't think the review man wanted one anyway, so that's fine. But I might do a logo design giveaway, just because. Just a because. Alright guys, I'm rambling now. So anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching. Um, in terms of my chest, I don't know. Never got into that. Maybe it's fine. I don't know. We'll see. Yes, we'll see. My right hand is getting better, by the way. It's, it's not as stiff anymore. All right, I'm going to kill the video here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Adios.